Elon Musk traveled to China in 2024 not by plane, but by riding in a high-speed Hyperloop pod he personally designed. Let's dive in. Elon Musk's brief trip to China paid off right away, as Tesla Inc. was able to get past two significant obstacles to launch its driver assistance technology in the largest auto market in the world. According to sources familiar with the situation, the U.S. automaker would collaborate with Chinese tech behemoth Baidu Inc. to provide mapping and navigation features to enable what it refers vehicle as full self-driving, or FSD. In addition, Tesla has passed a crucial privacy and data security regulation, which should allay some of the worries about introducing FSD to the Chinese market. In pre-market US trade, Tesla shares increased as high as 6.6%, while Baidu saw a 2.4% increase in Hong Kong. The events followed Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, traveling unexpectedly to China on Sunday to request approval for driver assistance software that could be able to stop the carmaker's revenue downturn. Tesla charges $8,000 for its suite of features in the US, or $99 per month for a subscription, even though they don't make the cars driverless and require ongoing monitoring. According to persons familiar with the situation, the Wall Street Journal said on Monday that Tesla was informed by Chinese officials that Beijing has provisionally approved the company's intention to introduce FSD in the nation. Musk unexpectedly travels to China to seek increase in Tesla sales Premier Li Chang, the Chinese Communist Party secretary for Shanghai, assisted the company in establishing what is currently its most successful plant worldwide, and Musk visited with him on Sunday. Flight Radar 24 reports that on Monday, his private plane departed Beijing. Although Tesla was first greeted with great success in China, its fortunes have since declined due to increased competition from local EV manufacturers, particularly BYD company based on data from China's Passenger Car Association. Bloomberg calculated that Tesla's share of the Chinese auto market decreased from 10.5% in the first quarter of last year to approximately 6.7% in the fourth quarter of 2023. In China, advanced driver assistance systems are growing more and more popular. Numerous local companies, such as Spang Incorporated and Xiaomi Corporation, are promoting these systems as benefits of their cars. Additionally, automakers have been successful in charging more for driver assist systems. Tesla may be able to utilize these features after its price cuts to the market may have eliminated its operating profit. Tesla will benefit greatly from FSD approval in China, as the company recently saw its first quarterly revenue loss since 2020. The business sold fewer cars in the first quarter even after reducing prices. Musk is looking to develop new models, including less costly cars, that might be ready by early 2025, if not by year-end. He is also looking to reduce headcount by at least 10%. In an interview with Bloomberg Television, Dan Ives, a senior analyst at Wedbush Securities, described Musk's unexpected trip to China as a watershed moment. This has the potential to allow FSD to operate in China, which I believe could present them with a truly exceptional opportunity. By collaborating with Baidu, one of just 20 approved vendors with the nation's highest mapping credentials applicable to driver assistance features, Tesla will be able to utilize the Chinese company's lane-level mapping and navigation services. Since 2020, Tesla has used Baidu for its in-car navigation and maps. Although Tesla may be able to regain some ground if FSD is approved in China, the company's driver assistance technologies haven't worked well in the US. The company's less capable autopilot technology is the subject of an investigation by the top US Auto Safety Authority, who cited 20 crashes since December involving cars that had an over-the-air software upgrade installed to prevent misuse. Last week, during an earnings call, Elon Musk stressed the significance of developing autonomous driving technology and advised those who had doubts about Tesla's capacity to solve autonomy not to invest in the business. In retrospect, Elon Musk's journey to China wasn't just a trip, it was a statement. It underscored his commitment to innovation and his unwavering pursuit of pushing boundaries. The reactions from the public and the stock market were nothing short of electrifying, highlighting the impact he continues to have on the world stage. So, what are your thoughts on Elon Musk's whirlwind adventure in China? Share your comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates on his trailblazing projects. Until next time, stay curious and keep dreaming big.